Okay, he's my hair. Doing a video on the Cactus Punk of the R650. So I was stripping, was stripping the bike down so I can take it to Evolution Motorcycles in Santa Clara slash San Jose. And, um, and I figured like, hey, well, you know what? If I take these racks off, I'll never be able to weigh the bike. You know, I may not be able to put these racks back on the bike after they straighten the, the frame, the, the subframe. So, uh, so if you've always been wondering how much does Merlin's Cactus hate the Merlin's Hades Omega spec Suzuki DR650 Cactus uh, Suzuki Cactus Puncher DR650 weight. Um, so here we go. This is it. So so I just checked the gas. Uh, we're about half. Maybe it might be a little bit less than half. So I would say that's about like two, maybe three gallons of gas on the on the bike. Um, I have the Rota packs right there um, with the, all the tools and spares in it. Um, at least what I left on the bike. Um, the minus the side plastics, I already start strip the plastics off. They don't weigh anything, anyways. We can weigh them off the bike if you want, but I'm sure they weigh like a pound or two. Um, the uh, it has the uh, and it has uh, some stuff in this little bag, mechanic tool bag here on the side. Um, whatever I left in there, I think it's some some wet weather gear and maybe like a tube or something, and um, and then I have the, uh, right here is my little uh, tank panniers. I, I started taking them off and, I, and then I realized, hey, we go, let's weigh the bike first. So it's whatever's in there. I got a couple tools in there and some random stuff is in there. Um, and then and then there's a, there's a tool tube back here that has, a, what is it, a chain lube in it. Um, and that's pretty much it. And it's got oil. So... And uh, I'm pretty sure the tire's got air in it. So that's the configuration it's in right now. So it's pretty much it's pretty much the configuration it's in when it's not loaded with luggage. So let's see how much it weighs. So I got my scales set up here on the bottom. I will just read them off and then we're gonna have to add them up later. So we'll probably do it three times so I can get an accurate, accurate reading. And uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's hard to do this if I don't have a helper to hold the bike up, but <laughs> All right. Okay. I got one one sixty five on the front. I got two forty on the rear. One sixty five and two forty. So let's take it off. But, uh, let's let's wait for the scale of zero. Okay, there we go. So one, I'm getting a one, one seventy five in the front. Yeah, one seventy five. Two twenty-five on the rear. Okay. We'll go let it uh, let it rest one more time. One seventy in the front and two one seventy in the front and two thirty-five in the rear. Two thirty-five in the rear. Alright. Okay, so I'll go do the math. No. We'll get back to it. Okay, he's me here. I'm here with the calculations, so I will put it on subtitle below. But um, but here it is on my phone right here is where I did the calculation. I wrote, I actually watched the video and I inputted it down. So it looks like I got different weights every time I weighed it, but it pretty much it adds up to be the same pretty much. I, I got a total of 405, 400, and 405 for the third time. So I'm going to say let's go with 405. That sounds about right. So 
So the Cactus Puncher DR650 with about half a tank of fuel and the motor packs and all the goodies in that pouch and like my off-road lights. I think that adds some weight. Um, all the bar risers and stuff. And, um, I don't know what else adds for it. I got those side case armor. Um, that one is a little heavier than stock. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, and these racks, obviously, yeah. The racks are probably the, the, the most weight. I think I took them off and I weighed them one time and I think they were only like 15 pounds or something. They weren't heavy. Um, I have done some things to save some weight, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, the plastics aren't on here too. Um, uh, it has that, that titanium uh, Gixxer 1000 muffler, so that probably saved me, I don't know, I don't know how much it saves me, but it's lighter than stock, because the stock muffler is heavy as shit. Um, and uh, I guess I got no snorkel. I got a holes in my airbox. Um, oh, I have, a, I have a plastic gas tank. That might save a little bit of weight. Um, thinking what else could save some that would affect the weight is what I'm going to say. The off-road lights probably weigh something. Um, I got this screen here. That probably doesn't weigh much. This probably doesn't weigh too much. I got hand guards. Um, I actually have a smaller fender that might actually be a little bit lighter than stock. Um, it's got a trail tech I added on, so that's extra. And I still have the stock uh, speedo on it. I have some small blinkers here. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I have some different foot pegs. Those probably weigh this. Oh, I have a, a center stand also. I have the SW Motec center stand. That probably adds a good probably 10 pounds to the bike right there. But it's really, it's down low, so probably will never feel it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the thing I could think of that would affect all the weight, you know. I, I did make this aluminum bracket here for the, um, for the muffler. Um, oh, because, uh, I have the Kintec mid pipe and I had to make this because this doesn't use the stock, uh, hanger location. And it doesn't, it's made out of aluminum. It doesn't really weigh much. It weighs maybe a pound. Um. I got this master cylinder guard that I made from a military grade. I'm not lying when I say military grade because this came from the military aluminum. <laughs> um, and I have the Coden Dynamic shock that might make a difference. I think I think I did weigh. I may have weighed it in the video. Um, go check that video out. I think it's it might be a little bit heavier than stock. It's negligible. <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, and that's all I can think of, um, other than, like, yeah, other than the stuff that makes my DR650 not stock, you know, it's pretty much, like, all of it. <laughs> um, um, yeah, that's all, that, that's about it, so, I mean, if I take out all this stuff, like, let's say, let's see how much this Rotopax weighs. I will go read, put it on the scale right now, and I'll just read it off to you, how much this Rotopax weighs. 15 pounds, right on the money. Yeah, 15 pounds. That's not 150, that's 15. <laughs> Okay, hey, it's Mega here. This is a. Uh, um, we're gonna do. We're gonna weigh the DR again after I stripped it down for uh, for the frame repair. Uh, we'll see how much it weighs without all that racks and stuff. So it was about. I would say about 50 pounds lighter. <laughs> I think I took about 50 pounds worth of junk off of the bike. So same same deal as last time. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna ride the bike onto the scales. And then we will, uh, and then I'll, I'll read them off, and then I will calculate how much it weighs after. So here we go. This is the first one. Uh, so I get a one, one sixty-four, and a one eighty-five. One sixty-four in the front, one eighty-five in the rear. That's the first one. We'll let those scales reset. Number two. Oh, come on. Still feels heavy. <laughs> 
168 in the front and 185 in the back. Third, third time. One sixty nine in the front and one eighty five in the back, so pretty consistent. All right, so I will. I am going to rewatch the video. I'm going to take down all the numbers and then uh, I will put down a logo over them on my phone again like we did last time. Okay, he's making here. I got all the calculations down and here they are. I'll put a subtitle below also so you can see them a little better. Um, so this, these are the, the measurements from yesterday and there's the measurements from today after I stripped it down. Um, so the average weight was 352 pounds. Um, I, I basically added the front and the rear weights and that's what I got. And then I took an average of all of those. Uh, it was off by hmm, like about five pounds. Uh, there was a difference of five pounds. So 352 pounds uh, versus the uh, about 400-ish pounds with everything on there. So I was right. All that stuff weighs about 50 pounds that I just took off the bike. So um, so that is the uh, what the Cactus Puncher DR650 weighs with, uh, with about half a tank of gas and without the plastics, without all the racks and stuff, pretty much it's naked now. Um, um, that's pretty light, <laughs> actually. Man, that's 50 pounds. I, I really want to take the bike for a ride right now and see what it feels like. It must feel like a totally different bike now. Um, yeah, so. Anyway. Um, yeah, so. Uh, so that's it. So about 50 pounds with all that, that stuff and, and all that stuff over there taken out. Um, so that that is the uh, end of uh, what, what it weighs. What Cactus Puncher DR650 weighs. The Hades Omega Spec Cactus Puncher DR650.